Hey there YouTube, it's Tonnelly. I'm here at the Clinton Mukilteo Ferry Landing uh, where I take my ferry to work. So I think, let me see, the ferry is coming out there. You can kind of see over my shoulder there, that little dot. That's my ferry. It comes every half hour and it's how I get to the mainland. Uh, so this is my commute. I just barely missed the last ferry by like four cars, so I'm a little bummed out. Uh, but it means I had time for coffee, so I stopped in at the little coffee trailer here. And now I'm just walking back to my car. Uh, for anybody who has never taken the ferry, this is kind of how it works. You see those little toll booths back there. You pay for different types of vehicles. Um, if you have a larger vehicle, you're gonna pay more than a short vehicle, like compact cars are really cheap to go on. Semi trucks are obviously a little bit more expensive. Um, and then you kind of wait in a sort of parking lot for your chance to go. And then once the boat comes, when one's leaving, another one's arriving, and so on and so forth, you just drive on and it's like a fly floating parking lot. So, I don't know, it, uh, it definitely beats sitting in traffic in the traditional sense. I far prefer my commute here to my one in California. <laughs> So, it's a good thing, but it is cold as heck out here right now. We never really get that cold on Whidbey Island, and it is freezing today. We thought we were going to even get snow. It's pretty impressive, because we don't usually get snow. <sighs> now I need to warm up my bones. Here I am back in the car. I'm just waiting for my boat to arrive. I'm really worried my commute today is just going to be the worst. People in Seattle do not know how to drive in ice and they just like freak out. <laughs> so, and Seattle is horrible traffic anyways. I will say like, I think my traffic in Seattle is worse than my traffic in, than my traffic in Southern California was. On the day to day at least. Like if I don't leave my work by 2 p.m., Basically, I might as well stay through dinner time because it's just not worth it to get through all the traffic for me to come up north to the island. I don't know. It's, it's great working in the city and living on the island, I feel like it gives me a lot of balance. I'm definitely a city person. If I didn't have work in the city, I would get island fever so bad. It would be insane. Uh, I don't know. I don't even know how I survived maternity leave without going into the city. Sometimes you just want to like be around people. You want to know that if you scream, somebody will hear you and help you. <laughs> and on the island, it's quiet. <laughs> so, I don't know. All oh, right, now the bomb sniffing dogs are coming by. That's another weird thing about the ferry is that we have these cute little Labradors. Let me see, can you see him? There he is, the little chocolate web. Um, we have these dogs that come by and they sniff for like, I don't know, drugs or bombs or whatever. But it's all part of Homeland Security. You don't see them too often on this side of the ferry. The other side of the ferry, I see them on more often. Um, I don't know. This seems like a pretty good job though. I imagine that like, if, <laughs> if you were in like bomb sniffing dog school or whatever, you know, there's like the kind of assignments that people could get. And I just picture like... <laughs> The dogs that get fairy inspector we got a pretty lush gig. It's pretty chilled out. They get to be outside in the fresh air. And there's really not that many people that they're dealing with versus like, you know, the dogs at JFK airport or something where it's like grimy and all day work, 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 work. Uh, I, I have a feeling that these dogs are pretty psyched on their assignment. Like this is probably like the one that all the dogs are like, oh man, that's like a fantasy job. I don't know if that's just me like a personifying a situation kind of like how like it is in the military where there's like those like fantasy assignments that people can get where you can get sent to amazing places on amazing squadrons or or whatever amazing assignments um and nobody nobody ever gets to do it it's just like a myth you know I feel like maybe to to go to bomb sniffing dog school <laughs> and to come out being a fairy sniffer <laughs> is probably <laughs> like a fantasy assignment here I am on the ferry now. Uh, usually during this time, what I do, I figure why not? I'll just take you guys along on my regular commute because I don't have much else going on and it's Vlogmas and I really want to make as many videos as I can during this. Uh, though I, this year I'm definitely not doing every single day. But uh, 
While I'm on the ferry, usually what I'll do is I'll take this time to sit in my car and catch up on watching YouTube, drinking coffee, uh, maybe eating a bagel, and doing my makeup. Today, I got a little ahead of myself and actually did it before I left. Uh, the other thing that I sometimes do on the ferry is go up to the lounge. So as you can see behind me, that's all open. There's cars all around me. And we are moving on. Right behind me here is the stairs. So we can walk up the stairs here. The ferry has two decks. Uh, today I got a good spot uh, because there's a view. There are certain spots where if you have to park at, really, really suck. Uh, but from the second deck, there's a sealed door here. And this will take you up to the galley, which is where you can get a beer, sit down, um, eat some chowder. You can see there's the other ferry behind me. It's on its way to the dock to go and pick up other people and drop people off. But yeah, so this is what my usual commute's like. We've also got the outdoor viewing decks out here, which you can take. I don't usually go on these outdoor decks. On this ferry, I do on my Coopville one. But there's nice wooden benches and kind of covered areas here. Some people who ride the ferry, it's like, uh, have you ever been to the mall before? Have you ever been to the mall before it opens and there's like the mall walkers? There's people who go walking in the mall instead of exercising. <laughs> the ferry can be like that. <laughs> there's a lot of people who go walking on the ferry before, uh, before they get their day started and they'll pack sneakers and stuff so they get their exercise. It is such a beautiful day. Yeah, so this is what the ferry is like. If anybody is curious about what it's like to live up here, this is roughly what your experience would be like. We've also got over here the galley that I mentioned. So you can see over here there is a kitchen. And you can get beer and all that kind of good stuff there. We also have signs telling you to follow Washington Strait Ferries on Twitter. Thank you. The other thing that's cool about the ferries, people are very polite. Uh, I've literally like gone to get something from the vending machine before and people just walk up and they'll be like, hey, you want me to buy you a soda? And people just like hang out and sit down and chill out. Um, a lot of people have like friends just on the ferry. People who they see during their ferry commute year after year, day after day. It's kind of fun. It's like a different way of going to work every day. It is now the end of my day and I have reached my favorite part which is the ferry trip home and getting my lunch at Ivar's here. So any of you guys who have been to Seattle you know that this is like the standby Seattle tradition. Um, everybody comes here. And when we're waiting for our boat, if we miss the boat, we get ice cream cones, fish and chips, whatever. Um, and it's delicious and fresh and fast. And in the meantime, we stand here in the wind, freezing our buns off and waiting for the next boat to come. This Ivar's that I just got smells so good. I am dying, but I'm back in my car waiting for the boat to come and I'm one of those like sticklers. I will not eat in my car. You can always tell if somebody eats in their car a lot because it just smells like old fast food funk. I'm not a fan of it. So I'm sitting here smelling my french fries and my fish and chips and I'm so hungry and I really want it. But my boat just pulled up. So now I just have to wait for it to unload the cars that are already on it. Then I get to get on, and I get to get out of my car, and I get to go eat my fish and chips because I'm starving right now.